Hi everyone, it's Wesley here from SurefireTradingChallenge.com. So today's the day we're going to allow you to download the MetaTrader 4 trading platform uh, and the Arbitro Expert Advisor. So I just want to show you what's going to happen and how you can go about getting uh, these items and installing them. So first thing you'll notice here is that I'm in the uh, trading zone and you can see here that it says the MetaTrader 4 platform will be available by Friday the 10th of September at 10 p.m. Uh, GMT. Now that's just a guide. Um, as soon as the markets close, um, the platform will be available. So we'll be uh, sending you an email a little later on, uh, just telling you exactly when uh, the platform is available and when you can go in and download it. So keep an eye for my email later on. Uh, that will be your sign to log in and then uh, get the platform. Okay. So let's just start from scratch. Uh, what I'm going to do here is go through to the instruction area, okay, and show you how to get the uh, platform and how to install Arbitro. Now, I've just clicked on the link here and it's brought me out to the instruction page. Now, over here you can see there are three simple steps uh, to get this done. The first thing you need to do is register for the competition. Uh, by this stage, if you're inside over here, it means you've registered already, so there's nothing to worry about. But if by some uh, odd occurrence you uh, are not registered uh, as yet, click on that button. It'll take you out to the registration area and you can fill out the form. Uh, if you are registered, what you need to do then is click on the Meditator 4 platform uh, link. Now at the moment, if you come out over here and you try to download it, you can see here that you will get a message. You can click as many times as you want and you're not going to be able to download this link. Now as soon as the markets close, we will enable this link and when you come in here you'll then be able to click it. Now I'll show you how that works. So I've just gone ahead and um, enabled this link so I'm going to refresh my page pressing Control and F5 and the next time I come out here I should be able to download it. Okay so I've just uh, refreshed the page I'm just going to scroll down here to the Meditator 4 platform click on that button there and now you can see I can download or I can click on the link to download and it's asked me to save the file so I'm just going to click on OK and I'm going to save that okay so this should take a few seconds to um, to download just depending on your internet connection and once that's done we can then go about installing the MetaTrader 4 platform so we'll come back as soon as it's done Okay, so just a few seconds left, and we'll have our platform, and we can go about installing it. Okay, so the download has completed. What I'm going to do now is open this file. Okay, it is in a zip archive, and you should have no trouble opening this. Um, I'm just going to double click on that installer. Okay, and it's asked me to, if I want to allow this uh, program to make changes, I want to click on yes. Okay, I'm going to select my language, which is English. Click on next. Click on next again. Sign up for the uh, agreement. You can go through this at your own uh, pace. Alright, choose my installation folder. I'm going to leave it as the default um, location there. Click on next. Okay, it says to me that you've specified a folder which already exists and some previous installations were installed there. I had this uh, platform installed a little while ago uh, while we were doing some testing, so I'm just going to go ahead and overwrite that. Okay, I'm going to select a program group, that's fine. I'm going to use a default, click on next. Um, you're now ready to install the platform, click on next, and it'll go about installing itself. Okay, so the platform has been installed at this point. What you need to do now is make sure that that uh, launch Tradeology FX um, checkbox is ticked. Click on finish and this will load up the platform. And here we go. Okay, so the first thing it's going to ask you to do is to create an account. Okay, you can see it's already got my uh, details filled in. So enter my name, uh, country and the rest of my details. Uh, you don't need to choose any options at this point here. All you've got to do is fill in your information. The account type, which is set to Tradeology, 
is set to the correct uh, parameter, so there's no need to change that. No need to change the currency either. The leverage is set to 1 is to 500. That's fine. That's the leverage that we're going to use for the competition, so there's no need to change that. And also your deposit has been set to $1,000. So there's no need to change that. All you've got to do after you enter in, enter in your details, click the I agree to subscribe to your newsletters button or checkbox. Click on next. On the screen, you want to click on the scan button. All right, it's done with the scan. Once that's done, click on next. And here you go. Your account has been created. Okay, so you might want to uh, make a note of these, this information over here. You will get an email as soon as you're done uh, or click the finish button. You might want to save that just for your uh, own personal uh, reference uh, later on. So I'm going to click on finish. And Incoming mail. there we go. I've just got the registration email. Here's my information for this account. Okay, so I can copy that and I can save that somewhere uh, for future reference. And if you look at it, my account has uh, been set up with the correct parameters. Balance of 1000, the leverage is uh, correct. Um, once we have our account set up, the next thing that we need to do is get the Arbitro uh, Expert Advisor and we need to install that as well. So at this point, what we're going to do is go down to the members area. Okay. Remember uh, the last time we installed MetaTrader 4, so now what we're going to do is install the Arbitro Expert Advisor. So I'm just going to click on the Arbitro. This is now on the instruction page. Okay. So at the moment, again, Arbitro is not enabled, but uh, once the markets close, you'll be able to uh, click on this link and it'll work. So let me show you how that uh, actually works. Okay, so I've just enabled the download on our admin area. I'm going to come back out to the instructions, click on it again, click on step three, and click on Arbitro, and I'll be able to download this. Okay, so it's asked me to save the Arbitro v2.zip file. I'm going to click on OK, and the download is completed. And that's our file. Okay, so what we need to do now, just double click on that file to open it. Here we have the Arbitro uh, installer. Okay, there's no need for you to copy and paste uh, the indicators or the, the expert advisor. Um, this installer will do it all for you. So, just going to double click on that. It's going to ask me if I want to allow the program to make changes to my computer. I want to click on yes. And here we go. Welcome to the Arbitro installation wizard. I click on next. Okay, so the wizard detected a MetaTrader program running. Uh, we'll close the program and then click OK to continue. Let's just go and close on our platform. Okay, that's gone. Let's try it again. Okay, so it's brought me through. You can read through the uh, license agreement. Click on the accept. I accept the agreement to radio button. Click on next. Now, at this point, it's going to ask you uh, which platforms you want to install the Arbitro for. The Arbitro has been designed to only work with the Tradology FX uh, platform, um, so it's pretty pointless installing it on any other platform. So I'm going to deselect my other platforms, and I'm only going to leave Tradology FX uh, checked. Okay. Um, if you have a trading platform installed in a different location, you can add it manually by adding a MetaTrader folder. That is, if the, the installer does not pick it up automatically. Okay, so I've got the uh, Tradology FX folder selected. I'm going to click on Next. This is just a review of the information or what's going to be installed. Click on Next. And you can see here the installation progress has completed and it is done. So click on Next. And it's going to ask me if I want to run the MetaTrader application after the install. Uh, I've got the Tradology FX selected and I've got the um, checkbox ticked. So I'm going to click on Finish and it's going to start up my platform for me. Okay, so here we are on the platform. Now, in order to um, get the Arbitro set up on your platform, all you got to do is add it onto a single chart. And it doesn't matter what chart it is, it doesn't matter what time frame it is, uh, you can use any currency pair. So, uh, you know, it's up to you really. Um, I like to use it on 
the lower time frame so I'm just gonna close out some of these charts here and I'm gonna open a new one let's go euro US dollar and we'll set it to a 15 minute chart now over here on my navigator let's just get rid of the market watch on my navigator I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna click on the expert advisors tab here you can see I've got our Bitro uh, EA V2 put out here what I'm gonna do is click on that drag it onto my chart and this is what I get now these are the options okay uh, on the common tab in ensure that you've got enable alerts selected ensure that you have live trading uh, selected on the safety uh, portion of this tab make sure that you have allow DLL imports selected and finally allow import of external experts selected let's go look at the, imp the inputs now the inputs that you um, add over here this will be uh, your username that you have when you signed up for the challenge alright so I'm just gonna enter in my username and I'm gonna type in my password okay those are the only options that you need to uh, set up here once that's done click on OK on the right here you can see that the you have a smiley face and over here you can see that the authentication has been successful I'm logged in as uh, my username okay so just to tell you a little bit about uh, the new version of Arbitro um, the installer should enable the EA automatically okay so all your settings are pretty much pre-configured but just in case I've shown you just now what needs to be checked and those are the most important things so uh, you should have no trouble setting it up um, you only need to place it on one chart any chart any time frame uh, if you uh, change the account or you have a wrong password you're going to have to remove the EA and then reapply it so the way you do that click on, right click on your chart go to expert advisors and then click on the remove button then just go back to your navigator uh, over here click and drag it back onto the chart and then fill it in again okay um, open trades will be updated every five minutes uh, so the statistics and uh, closed orders are updated in real time um, that is uh, when an order is closed it is updated uh, on the leaderboard so you'll be able to follow it that way um, if you blow your account and if you want to restart uh, it's pretty simple to do this time all you've really got to do come out to your accounts on the navigation tab open a new account and all your information should be presented over here uh, no need to change any of the parameters just click on I agree click on next and on the next screen you'll be asked to scan uh, the servers scan the servers and you'll have a new account and there's no need for you to replace the Arbitro simply delete the old account from your navigator on the, uh, window here and just remain with the one uh, single account and Arbitro should pick that up uh, automatically um, okay the only other thing that you really need to worry about is just ensuring that you have uh, an account balance of a thousand dollars remember that the Arbitro only works with the Tradeology FX trading platform that you download from the members area okay there are four basic uh, error codes um, you can have an error for either one of these um, events uh, firstly a wrong initial balance so if you have a balance greater than a thousand dollars or less than a thousand dollars when you start the account uh, you're gonna get an alert uh, the other error is for a wrong leverage size so if you do not choose one is to 500 you're gonna get another alert um, the last one is for sorry the the third one is for um, if you're using more than 0 0.5 lots in total for any of your open positions as soon as that happens you're going to be disqualified and you will get an alert uh, from Arbitro and error 4 is if that if you're not using the Tradeology FX MT4 platform and that's it um, what will happen is if you get any of these errors uh, you will get an alert uh, sounding and you'll have to um, rectify those errors okay so that's pretty much all you need to do in order to get started so as soon as we do enable the uh, download links in the members area I will send you an email and you'll then be able to go in there and download and install uh, the MetaTrader 4 platform and the Arbitro Expert Advisor once you have these there's nothing else left to do except for wait for the markets to open on Sunday uh, or Monday depending where you are in the world and once that's done you can start trading so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found this useful um, good luck to everybody in the competition and I'll chat with you again soon uh, for surefiretradingchallenge.com this is Wesley thanks for joining me have a great weekend